Hello and welcome to the Reading Chair Day Studio. Today's book will feature Kabuji's Hide in Small Dark Spaces, A Bug's Brave Journey for a Meaningful Life by Marita Connolly. Marita is living in New Zealand and her book features much of the flora and fauna from New Zealand. I'll also have links in the description box of this video in case you're interested in more information and how to purchase the book. And now for the story. Kabuji's Hide in Small Dark Spaces Feeding on old worn shoelaces They jump, they cartwheel, roll and fly until one day one asks why? Why every day, in the same old way, eat shoelaces, then go play? New adventures now I seek. Perhaps I'll be back by midweek. This kibuji's name is Beanie. He eats shoelaces like Linguini. But unlike his friends, he's always dreaming. So he flies away to find life's meaning. Landing in a quarry tree, by the ocean he feels free. He makes a life in this new place until he hungers for shoelace. Beanie's lost and far from home. He sits and cries, feels so alone. Suddenly, he hears a flip, followed by a flop, flip, flop. Then it stops. Pouncing on what makes that noise, Beanie tastes and feels great joys. So much better than old shoelace. Beanie greatly loves this place. As Beanie plays with a stick in the sand, his stick friend doesn't understand. Beanie longs for a real friend to have some laughs and play pretend. Suddenly, up from out of the sand springs Grib Fuzz with a rubber band. Grib Fuzz makes a wondrous sound, much like footsteps on the ground. Plip plop, plip plop, plip plop, plip plop, plip plop. Flipping around with a band so gummy, snapping the elastic on his tummy. He says, because I'm soft and creepy crawly, fuzz is what the Kiwis call me. Beanie shows Grib Fuzz how to play. Grib Fuzz shows how to sachet. Days on the beach are easy going. The rhythmic tide ebbing and flowing. One day, Beanie finds his friend lying still within the sand. Nudging him, he will not wake. No sound at all does Grib Fuzz make. No plop, plip, plop, plip, plop, plip. He nudges him again with a small toothpick. Waiting, watching, guarding his friend. Weeks are passing without end. Fuzz looks different, somewhat gray. He does not move, nor sachet. Kabuji Beanie feels so hopeless, losing faith and trying to focus. Without a friend, what does life mean? How else can love be felt and seen? This doesn't make sense. Nothing does. But wait, what's that? He hears a buzz. Grip fuzz no longer is plip plopping. Now he's buzzing without stopping. Beanie jumps up and dances with glee to see fuzz fly up a cory tree. Grip fuzz now has wings, you see. The two best friends now make a pact to always watch each other's back. Crack! Crack! Oh no! The tree limb snaps. Could this be the end, perhaps? <sighs> Grib Fuzz is snatched up by a beak. In Tui's grasp, life seems quite bleak. 
Chomp! Tui now in fat cat's jaws. No time to think, nor even pause. Upon cat's ear, bean does bite. Cat coughs out bird from sheer fright. Alarmed, Tui spits out fuzz. Spit makes a gooey mess it does. As the bird flies off, the cat in the quarry now has regrets and is so sorry. I am Princess Atua von Fluff, she says as she vanishes in a poof. Tweet, jingle, honk, woof, woof, wah, tweet, jingle, honk, woof, woof, wah. Bean and Fuzz are so relieved, and together they agree. A noisy alarm they must attach to tui birds and hungry cats. Humbugs ought to do the trick, attaching to them like a tick. Then we'll know just when they're coming by the humbugs' raucous humming. Hum. Beanie lies back so happily to think of all he has achieved. From old worn shoelaces and play, adventure brought him to this day. He saved a friend and made these lands much safer from all evil plans. Beanie now his answer found, not in a tree or on the ground, but in his heart and in his mind. Just love each other and be kind. Hum, hum. Better run, cause here they come. Thank you for watching Day Studios, The Reading Chair. Please like, subscribe, and share. And come visit us again for another fun book, reading, and more videos.